everyone, my name is Gray. I'm the dietitian and health coach with MLK Health Center and Pharmacy. I had a, an issue of Reader's Digest put on my desk recently. I don't normally look through magazines, but I decided to flip through and I found an interesting article talking about um, sun exposure and actually some of the health benefits surrounding that and that we may be doing ourselves a disservice by being really vigilant about sunscreen all the time. Um, so that was something I found to be um, interesting because it's it's something I've questioned before. I, I feel like there would be some benefits to sunlight, um, especially since humans evolved living outdoors um, for most of our existence. So decided to do a few videos about it. So for this one, um, I'm going to be focusing on sun exposure and blood pressure. This was completely new information to me. Um, I had not heard this before, um, but it's really interesting. So there was a study that came out earlier this year that um, followed just short of 350,000 patients. Um, so a lot of people followed them over three years and they were comparing their, uh, their sun exposure and their blood pressures. And they found that people that had um, higher amounts of sun exposure had lower blood pressure levels. I thought this was really interesting because I work with a lot of people that have high blood pressure. There are lots of Americans that have um, high blood pressure. Um, so this could be, you know, a convenient and free way to potentially lower that blood pressure. It'd be worth doing um, because if you have high blood pressure that's not controlled through lifestyle or medication, then you're putting yourself at risk for heart attack, stroke, aneurysms, um, damaging those precious little vessels in our um, different organs like our eyes or kidneys. So it's really not something that you want to mess with. I did a little more digging about why sun exposure would lower blood pressure. Um, and I, I found that when sunlight or when UV light hits the skin, it prompts our body to uh, release nitric oxide. Um, so nitric oxide is a, a molecule that helps dilate our blood vessels. So if our, our blood vessel was maybe around this size, um, nitric oxide might help it expand to maybe this size. Um, if you think about it in terms of like a garden hose, if the water pressure is constant, the, the flow of water, but you have one hose that's this size and another hose that's this size, there's going to be more pressure on this smaller tubing. It's the same thing with our blood vessels. Um, if they're a little more relaxed, larger, then the blood um, isn't under as much pressure uh, flowing through that space. There's a little more elasticity there. So that was um, something that I found to be quite interesting. So, it, you know, it's sunny outside. We're in the middle of summer. Um, a lot of us are spending extra time inside right now because of COVID and lockdown. So, um, you know, it may be worthwhile to get short bouts um, of outdoor time. I'm not saying go out and blast yourself with two hours of really intense middle of the day sun. <laughs> um, but 30 minutes seems to be kind of that, that sweet spot. Um, Likely not going to get a sunburn from that, um, but it's going to give you enough of that exposure to produce some of those positive benefits. Um, plus, it could help relieve stress, just get you out of the house, which is something that a lot of us could use right now. So I hope this was helpful. Hopefully you get outside, uh, get a little sun exposure, help lower that blood pressure. If you have interest in other nutrition or wellness videos, please check out our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you.